us together, this including you, Dino, and myself. Let's give it up for reggae superstar Edward Ishmael King. You're Picture right. Edward Ishmael King. Can I just say, it has taken me such a long time to get you in here because of your work commitments, because of everything you do, but now you are in and I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm nervous, actually. <laughs> nervous? How can you be nervous? You were like... I think it's been in your greatness, actually. But, oh, mate. Oh, you know I, what I, mean? I feel on it. I feel on it. You know, you're wearing a shirt King of the World as well. I'm I like, am. I'm wearing my King you know? of the World t-shirt. This was bought for me for my 30th birthday by Embrace City. Yeah. Oh. I know. It's, it's just about still fitting. It's just about still fitting, yeah. so I've put on a I few I like to pants. just got your name King in it, so... Yeah, <laughs> I mean. uh, after the Edward Ishmael King, after the Edward Ishmael King. But I'll tell you what, guys, not only is this awesome because we've got Edward Ishmael King, we're also going to be dedicating this show to Leanne Russell, who unfortunately passed away the other month, and all our friends and family that are listening, including Julia, Salve, Russ, Paul, Elise, Jamie, Kerry, Shannon, and the list could go on, including good friends, close friends to her, like Emma and Becky Waxman as well. We're going to be dedicating this show especially for her. So let's go completely on to you now. Okay. I I want to know, you obviously, you love your reggae, yep, you love, love it, your, you love your blues. Yep. What is it that made you turn around one day and say, you know what, I want to pick up a guitar, I want to start jamming to the world. What what made that, what, what was the day that happened? I think it was when I went traveling around the world and uh, music is the one thing that united everyone I saw. Yeah. You could be in Thailand, you could be in Singapore, you could be in New Zealand or Fiji and everyone loved music. Yeah. And it was the one thing and they kept going to me, Bob Marley, long hair, long life. <laughs> so I said to myself, you know what? If I can just play for someone who doesn't even speak English, yeah, then I'm happy. And it's just a good, it's a good outlet for me. Definitely. Very, very good outlet, positive outlet. So is that when you actually picked up a guitar? I thought, that's when I first picked up the guitar. Yeah. And okay. I started strumming. That was in 2000. Really? Yeah, in 2000. So it's about 12 years now, off and on. And um, dabbled in all kinds of music like didgeridoo, piano, saxophone, harmonica. This goes on, but. Guitar is my one favourite. I can just pick up and walk with it. And just go with it. Just go with it and just play. I'll tell you, talking about other instruments, mm. you know, you, you actually do a lot of work um, with the youth of Dunstable and yeah. the surrounding areas. Yeah. Um, doing things like um, didgeri you know, teaching kids yep. how to play the didgeridoo, teaching instruments. Yeah. You know, that must, that must, it must be really good giving off such a positive vibe to the youngsters of the local area. Oh, definitely, definitely. The way I see it, the youth of today, a lot of them say they don't have anything to do or they feel let down academically. But anyone can play music. I mean, anyone can bang out a tune, anyone can make a sound, anyone can sing. And if people don't like it, that's their problem. But as long as you're enjoying it as, a, as an artist, that's the main thing. Go there, don't go for the big fame or the money and stuff. Just go and play your music awesome. and enjoy it. Happy days, that's pretty good. And I'll tell you Irie what, vibes. <laughs> Irie vibes, that's it, man. And I hope that a lot of the youngsters out there listening, um, you know, if, if they are mm. thinking about picking up an instrument, are definitely going to come to you. But we'll talk a little bit yeah. more about how they can contact you. Let's um, let's go and move on to a tune. So what's the first track you're um, going to sing? first track I'm going to sing, I actually wrote a couple of years ago for a friend's mum that passed away. It's called Why Do You Have To Go? And uh, it's, a, it's a somber tune, so I think I start off with it. But it's just about saying, you know what, you'll see them again. Definitely. You will see them again. So just... So it's yeah. got a lovely, it's got a nice, it's a nice, it's a nice message to it. Brilliant! I'll you tell you, introduce it and let's go. All right, um, this is called "Why Do You Have to Go," and I'll try and play it for you, and I hope you like it. Why did you have to go? Could you not stay? I know I'll see you again when I reach Mount Zion. My mama is now gone. She's not forgotten. Her legacy still lives on Inside of her children I look in my son's eyes I see her in them It helps remind me Of the gift of creation why did you have to go? Could you not stay, stay? 
I know I'll see you again when I reach Mount Zion. Mama, I'll miss you each and every day. You are in my head and thoughts always. Mm -hmm. You were my best friend, never my enemy. I'll always love you for what you've done for me. Why did you have to go? Could you not stay, stay? I'll always love you each and every day. I know you had to go I know you could not stay I know I'll see you again when I reach Mount Zion Darren Jones on Diverse FM So right then give it up for Ed Ishmael King there everyone <laughs> What a fantastic song and what beautiful lyrics, you know, that, you know, you must have put a lot of heart and soul into writing that track. Yeah, definitely, because I mean, when I was actually writing it for my friend's mother as well, I often felt what it was like if I lost my own mum. Mm. And being, my mum lives in Bermuda, where I'm originally from and I live here, is that day you're going to get that phone call and what's it, what's it really going to be like? Yeah. So all the petty arguments you have over the years, forget about them, because in the day, your parents that gave you life and you got to appreciate that through thick and thin definitely and being a parent myself i know what it's like sometimes you do want to strangle your kids but <laughs> they at the same time you will lay your life down for your kids oh definitely so that's One, the, best, the biggest thing i say you know thank you so thank you mom yeah brilliant well, you know, thank, thank, you. Yeah. thank you so much for sharing that with um, the people not just not just in england because mm -hmm. obviously we're out on the internet as well and it's being mm -hmm. beamed all over the world and i'm sure a lot of people have enjoyed that song just as much as we all did so oh, thank cheers. you on that. Oh, thank you so ed let's talk a little bit about your reggae vibes now you know i've heard your reggae tunes that absolutely <laughs> that absolutely awesome now is it because you're from bermuda that the reggae came like it, it came to you naturally or was it something that you just one day just listened to and went wow that is the music for me I think reggae is in every person, you know, and if you, if you even put reggae aside, you say any type of music is in everybody. And in, the, in Bermuda especially, um, there was a lot of reggae influence from mm. Jamaica, from all over the Caribbean, we had the soca and everything. But then I think coming here, it was easy for me to get into the reggae vibe yeah. through the MC and stuff. And I think now most music I play is a, is a combination of blues and reggae. Yeah. So I think I like, I like it all, actually. I awesome. like all of it. I'm loving that, but can I just say, Edward Ishmael King, you won't be able to hear this, but the people of Dunstable, Luton, Hatton Ridge and around the world will, because right now the song Barbara Streisand has just come onto the airwaves, <laughs> which means one thing and one thing only, it is now time for the weekly musical quiz where you are going to be taking on Dino the Beano's Bacon live <laughs> in the studio. With me. Dino, come and grab that microphone right there. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go thick and fast because we want to fit in a few more tracks right. into the show. Um, the rules are quite simple. But what it is is you basically buzz in if you know the next line to the track. If you don't, have a cheeky guess. So when I say buzz in, Dino, what is your buzz in? What feel let the dogs out. Get close to that microphone. What feel let the dogs out. That's it, beautiful. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna say, it's a reggae thing. It's a reggae thing. Wicked. I, said, I should have said ting, not fang. I was right. <laughs> I, I went all USA. I went all USA. It's so, all good. <laughs> it's all good. So right then, what you're going to do then, it, as I say, it is quite simple. Um, as soon as you know the answer, you just basically buzz in. So right then, the first tune. Oh, forgive me for what I have done. What if we let the dogs out? Dino. For I'm young. Yes, I will give you that one. Don't worry, 
Woof. Uh, dogs out. I'm going to give that to our guest. I'm going to give that to our guest. Ed Ishmael King. I'm going to let you have that one. Don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. No. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Is it Bobby McFerrin one? I'll give you one more. Yeah. in it. So don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Dino, I'll pass it over to you. About a thing. No. <laughs> what? You just said no. Right. Okay. Is everything a little thing? Moving on. It was, right, actually don't, it was actually don't worry, be happy. Uh, oh, we're halfway Robbie. there. Woof. Yes, yes Dino. Uh, what, we're living on a prayer? Yes, correct. Well done. Danger, danger. Woof, we let dogs out. Oh, High you, voltage. Well done. Free there. Um, back once again. Barbara Streisand. Go on, woof, I dare you. <laughs> Go on. Go on. I'll just, I'll just be a spectator. I'll just be a spectator on this one. It was actually back once again for the Renegade Master. I bet that you look good. Woof, I don't know that looks out. Dino. On the dance floor. Well done, that's four. Um, I shot. What? Oh, Over to you, Edward. Hang on, hang on. Oh, it's a reggae it. thing. <laughs> it is. Over to you, Edward. What was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> I shot the Sheriff. But you didn't shoot. The deputy, but Eric Clapton also done by Bob Marley as well. Well done, baby, baby. I get two points for that one. Oh, I named two oh, artists. Yeah, oh, I will God. give you two points, actually. Um, baby, 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 baby. Justin Bieber. Oh, we're three little dogs out. Dino. Uh, oh, that's that's not really embarrassing that I know this. Go on. A baby, baby, baby. Oh, baby, baby, it's in my head. Baby, it's one of them. Baby, 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 right, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, no. I'm going to move on from that one. It's actually baby, baby, baby. Oh. Justin Bieber. <laughs> um, you make me wanna. What three little dogs out? Dino. Shout. No. Over to you, Edward. Screaming shout. No, it was actually you make me wanna. Oh 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 oh. <laughs> JLS. <laughs> and then the last one is we are. What three little dogs Dino. out? Bluetin Town. Well done, Dino. I can actually say that you got five compared to Edward Ishmael. King. I got three. Two. Two. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you got two. I think, I think you saw the answers, mate. You saw, you knew the answers for a guy. Oh, not, believe, mate. If you'd have seen my track record, you'd be surprised. I can actually say, believe it or not, he didn't know the answers because I love him to lose. <laughs> <laughs> A big nice one, mate. Cheers for that. Chuck down the microphone down next. Oh, what we're going to do? We're going to move uh, thick and fast on and do another <laughs> track. So, what's the Ed? What's the um, next track you're going to do for us? I'm going to try and do uh, Three Little Birds. Hence the word track, because it's uh, it's been it's one of those songs that you have to pay homage to, and you never be as good as the original. So I have to try and play it how I play it. Okay, over to you. About a thing Cause every little thing Is gonna be alright Don't worry About a thing Cause every little thing Is gonna be alright Rise up this morning Smile with the rising sun Three little birds Pitched by my doorstep Singing sweet songs Melodies pure and true Saying This is my message to you Don't worry Alright About a thing No, 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 no Cause every little thing, oh Lord, gonna be alright Don't worry about your thing Cause every little thing, oh Lord, gonna be alright Rise up, me gonna rise up one time Me come up on the microphone, me sing it this time Me look upon my face and yes, me, yes, I now me whine me look upon the people in the lovely sunshine I won't worry, I won't shed no tear Just as long, as long as you are here I won't worry I won't worry So don't worry About your thing Cause every little thing Is gonna be alright don't worry about your thing Cause every little thing is gonna be alright 
Rise up this morning, smile with the rising sun. Three little birds pitched by my doorstep, singing sweet songs, melodies pure and true, saying, This is my message to you. Do not attempt to adjust your down, Dazzler Jones. Wow, come on, give it up for Red there. What, what a brilliant track. And I know that was uh, one of Leanne's favourite tracks as well, so I know she'll be looking down, absolutely loving that. And especially being you've put your own little twang on yeah. that as well. Really like that, really like that. Thanks for sharing it with us. Oh, thank you very much for having it. No worries, no worries. Um, so, Ed, let's let's talk a little bit um, sort of about shows that you've done. Now, you've, okay. done, you've done some shows for me. You've obviously done like open mic nights mm-hmm. like at the Greyhound and yep. places like that. Um, have you, have you, is there any other kind of gigs that you've done? What's the one that kind of sticks in your mind as being a really special night and that you really enjoyed? Um, I think it'll be the first gig I did for you, actually. Oh, really? At the at Go Bowling, yeah. I mean, the, we played with a band called Ting Rani Iris as well. And uh, it sticks in my mind because my friend, my friend Paul and I, my, my percussionist. I love chilled out Paul. Yeah, <laughs> very, very chilled out. He's very chilled out indeed. <laughs> you know, and then um, we were sitting there and I was a bit nervous at first. And then we went up and started playing. And the whole the energy from the crowd that was there, you're sitting there going, I was like, God, this is all right. You just lost yourself. And then at one point in the gig, I think Ting Rani I really started coming out one by one. Yeah. And I was playing, playing my music. And they had the flutes, the horns, the sax, the guitars, more percussions. And it was just, it felt like, if I could say any one music moment I loved in my life, that was that one moment. And you, one thing that was missing, you're going to yourself, I could play for a thousand people, two thousand right now, because the energy <laughs> was just there. I'll tell you what, I, you know, obviously that was an amazing yeah. moment, like 10 people, on, a, on one small stage, mm. basically literally jamming. And that lasted 12 minutes. That freestyle was 12 yeah. minutes. And, and and the great thing about that gig as well is the way that you joined in with their set. So mm. the last two songs of the set, they were going to finish at 12 and they ended up finishing at quarter two. <laughs> the last two songs took 45 minutes. It was just like one big constant jam session. Yeah, so. I think I left that with my, no voice actually. And I think I kept yelling fire too much. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that does seem to be the, tra- the trademark yeah. for your finger. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So, so you know, obviously that one mm. st- sticks in your mind. Um, is there any other kind of gigs that you're looking out for? Is there anything for you that would be the pinnacle gig? You know, the, the time where you can stand up and say, I've achieved what I want to achieve in um, music. I think no matter where you play, there's always going to be one better gig. Always one yeah. better gig. So I never want to tell myself that's the pinnacle gig. Because as mm. long as like, I still can draw a breath and still play and people still want to hear my music, I'll keep playing to the day I die, really. And just Like I said, every gig is different. Yeah, and I think if I think mistake a lot of people make, they try and compare the gig to the last gig they had. Mm. It's just different people, it's a different time of your life. So go there and just really enjoy what you have to do, and the gig will take care of itself. Definitely, I like that. So let's talk about um, your inspirations. Mm. You know the the people oh. that inspired you. Obviously, you know you saying that you're from Bermuda, but mm. then the, you know the reggae kind of hit mm. your life when you came over over the yeah. water to to Great Britain. Um, but who are the people that have really influenced your life? With music, with music, oh well, I think it's my mum really. To, to actually be honest, crack my mum, uh, my dad as well. They used to play a load of soul music, Motown, Smokey Robinson. A bit uh, like my mum. Yeah, not <laughs> <laughs> be related, haven't know. <laughs> Who knows? It could be. <laughs> yeah, you could. Got the same shirt on, so I don't know. We have that. But I mean, um, I mean, obviously, you had the, the obvious favourites like the Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, the Wailers, um, Gregory Isaacs. Um, Burning Spear, but then you also had like a lot of hip hop as well, and also the classical as well, like Mozart and Beethoven. And I think any, I mean, I was into like heavy metal, and I think all the music that had a positive message mm. to me, I, I picked up from, and I like that because I mean, you get some people that just want to talk to make the money to talk about the drugs, the alcohol, and how many women they've had, and being very disrespectful. And that, I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. That's their thing. That's their vibe. But at the same time, I think we need more positive music to come through. Yeah, definitely. You know, because I mean, growing up, it was more like everyone was saying, oh, gangs are up, this, this is doing this reggae, making this dancehall is making you do this or do that. Mm. And to tell you the truth, 
it's all bunch of rubbish. That's the yeah, flu- that's, well, the, that's no, what I can use. <laughs> I, I, I used to listen. I was listening to the likes of Cypress Hill and Snoop mm. Dogg from nine years old. Not that my mum oh, yeah. and, and I know my mum's listening, so, <laughs> so I'm sure she's going to tell me. But I was listening to that from nine years old. Mm. It doesn't mean I'm going to go out and bust caps in people's asses. No. Do you know what I mean? It's just I like the music because it, it mm. you know I, I just enjoyed listening to it. Sometimes I found it comical. Sometimes I'd listen to it depend on my emotional state. And um, I think that's the same with all music. It depends it what you take from the music rather than copying what they're no, doing. No, you within have the to music. take what you take from it. Because I mean those bands you look for what's going on in their environment at that time like people like Tupac he's a very very amazing artist he was rest in peace but the same time is he came from that ghetto situation he, yeah. he, grew, he grew up he saw it that's what he spoke about in his lyrics now then you get some people that want to try to emulate that who have no idea what they're talking about and that's the people that sort of have to be very very careful yeah because they're in it for the money going oh this is a good Good, you know, good thing to jump on a bandwagon with. Yeah. But listen to what the people are saying. What What is the message they're trying to say to you and about their environment, about what they're seeing, about their loss going on in their life? And that's that makes good music. That's why it sticks around. Definitely. Definitely. So what we need to do now is, uh, you know, you're speaking earlier about a lot of the work that you do with mm. the youth of dance. Well, not just youth. You also yes. do it with adults as well. Yeah. Um, I know, like you do, did you do workshop mm. in like Wrigley's in in the town centre? Yeah. Um, if you know, if there's young people out there that are listening to this right now, you know, and, and I think a lot of people will be inspired by a lot mm. of what you've said about, especially about the listening to the music and getting the good from it, and, and so on and so forth. But if people would like to come and do these workshops with you, or they just want to come and hear you mm. jam out some tunes, how can they get in contact with you, or how or how can they just come and see you and do what? you do um so i'm at i am at wrigley's and i do leave some cards there because i do the drumming workshop did we do workshops and they can get in touch with you as well because you know, definitely yeah they can get in touch with you as well but just look around and you i'm i'm always i'm very easy to find <laughs> i know you've done things at grove corner yep. before do you still mm-hmm. do things there um i've got some stuff coming up in the summer when there's some projects all over i'm in leighton buzzard i'm at the hat factory as well um, but I've been doing some capoeira workshops with a colleague, a friend, a good, very good friend of mine, uh, Dos Metros, um, starting in two weeks on a Saturday uh, at Fitness First. So come down, we we'll do some capoeira as well. Awesome. For young people, don't worry about it. Stay positive, stay focused, and chase your dreams. Because end of the day, the only one that can stop you from achieving anything is yourself. So if someone puts you down, don't worry about it. Let them talk what they've got to, let them say what they've got to say, and you be strong, rise up. And still stay standing, still standing. And I'll tell you, on that note, let's uh, we, you, we're now going to go to your yeah, last still track, standing, <laughs> which is still standing, which is obviously yeah. really convenient. And um, tell us a little bit about the track. Um, still standing is basically every time you get a setback in life, you might lose a job, or you might get put down, or you might get beat up by some people. Get back up on your feet. There's always a hurdle to overcome, and until until you no longer draw a breath you're still standing that means your inspiration keep walking keep going to life stay positive and just go for it definitely so, yeah just let you know i've had a text come through uh, from a good friend of yours actually james field and just sent some message through saying job bless <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the guitar, James, mate. <laughs> so, right then, um, over to you, introduce the yeah. track. Let's go. Um, it's called Still Standing, and I hope you like it. I don't know how I'm gonna get by All I know is I haven't got to try I'm gonna smoke some Kali weed Job provide me with all that I'll need When times are tough and I feel down Don't know which way is up or down I'll call upon the Almighty to come down and set my soul free. I'm still standing. I'm still standing. Oh Lord, I'm still standing forevermore. I'm still standing. No matter how many times they knock me down I should rise some off the ground No matter how many times they knock me down 
I shall rise from off the ground. I don't know how I'm gonna get by. All I know is I've got to try. I'm gonna smoke some Kali weed. Just gonna keep me off that I lead. When times are tough and I feel down, don't know which way is up or down. I call upon the Almighty to come down and set my soul free. I'm still standing. You can't keep me down. I'm still standing. I'm rising off the ground. I'm still standing forevermore. I'm still standing. You can't keep me down. Edward Ishmael King, everybody. Thank you very much. What an absolutely brilliant track, an inspirational track as well. And I, I take it that you can tell when you're singing that it actually means a hell of a yeah. lot to you to, to, you know, every time you sing that, you know, I've seen you sing yeah. it live twice now and, and, and even here in the studio. It really does touch you, yeah, doesn't it, that it one? it does. Like I said, it's, I've had a lot of setbacks and you got to say, you know what, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep playing my music. I'm going to keep trying to provide for the family. And I'm going to just try and live an iry, good vibe life. Because like, it's an like iry vibe, it's a good life, good times. Happy days. Say, it's always happy days. Fire! <laughs> Can I just say, unfortunately, we've now run out of time. That's quite um, all right. But it's been an absolute pleasure having you on. Well, thank you um, very much for having me. And thank I'll tell you, you what, very, very much. we'll definitely get you back on as well. But I look I, forward to it. Thanks very much. Let's give it up. Come on, give it up. Hey! Hey, everybody. I'm uh, for myself as well. <laughs> do it, do it. I am Edward Ishmael King I'm from Bermuda. I've just been on Diverse FM. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant time. Thoroughly look forward to it. So I tell everyone up there, please tune into Diverse and enjoy yourselves. Big up. Fire! <laughs> <laughs> <You're fine. laughs>